Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This look was inspired by the amazing artwork of Colin Christian. As always, the product's music and my social media will be listed in the description. And with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. I started the look by blocking out one of my eyebrows. I applied prosthetic adhesive to my face, then applied my prosthetic once the adhesive turned clear. You want to wait until the adhesive dries down because that's when it's actually sticky. I made this prosthetic out of a vegetarian friendly gelatin substitute, which acts in the same manner as gelatin. I'm planning on making a video on it, so keep an eye out for that. I used scar wax to build up an edge next to the prosthetic. I used a metal spatula and prosthetic adhesive to apply the wax. With scar wax, you want to minimize using your hands as your body heat will transfer to the wax and make it a melty, goopy mess. I also used scar wax to add the little holes around the skull. I used Vaseline to further smooth out the scar wax and remove any marks left behind by the spatula. I filled in all the negative space in the skull and the holes with black body paint. I used a white cream makeup to highlight the skull. Basically, I just patted it on top of the prosthetic, which brought out all the details in the sculpt. I spattered a pink alcohol activated body paint around the holes and inner edge of the prosthetic to mimic irritation. I used a red alcohol activated paint to add a bloody look around the eye socket and jaw. I used a deeper red alcohol paint to define the teeth. I used a peach color corrector to cancel out the darkness under my eye. Then I applied foundation to that half of my face. I highlighted my face with white foundation, then I set my face with powder. I used a cool brown shade to contour my cheek, forehead, and nose. I used a light yellow mix of body paint to highlight the skull since it got a little lost under all the spattered alcohol paint. I applied gel blood around the holes and edge of the prosthetic. I added in some smaller holes with black body paint. Then I used the light yellow mix to highlight above each hole just to make them pop a little bit more. I added some warmth to my face with blush. Then I filled in my remaining brow. I used my contour shade to define my crease. I applied a hot pink lipstick to my lips and patted an iridescent glitter on top while it was still wet. I added a bit more alcohol paint along the edge of the prosthetic to mimic the messy, bloody look of the sculpture this was based on. Last, I added some eyeliner, then I used very watered down black body paint to mimic running mascara underneath my eye. Congratulations, you have made it to my end screen. Click that top link to check out my last video, or click that bottom link to check out a video YouTube's robots think you'll like. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video from me in the future, click that little circle with my face in to subscribe.